Hi everybody and welcome to Frank's 3D Shop and today we'll look at the project that I am working on this day after uh, Christmas and uh, some feedback about the little monoprice mini printer that was going in smoke uh, we found the problem let's look <laughs> So, uh, after posting the last video about this little printer uh, going up in smoke, um, uh, one of the guy that is uh, publishing the firmware for this uh, printer, the firmware V40, which is not official firmware, but it comes from the, uh, from the company, uh, Mayland, I think, uh, a guy called Matthew Up uh, contacted me over uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube and uh, helped me to figure out what was wrong because it was not uh, supposed to do what it did and uh, it turns out that uh, probably the firmware v40 was not properly burned into the ROM of the printer so he suggested to re-flash the printer with the v40 uh, firmware and it turns out that it it worked and also at the end code the end G code of the printer, I was turn, turning off the, f the little fan with a command that was asking it to turn at zero or one percent, which is not the a good practice. Uh, it should be, I'm going to put on the screen the command before and after, and I'm going to change also the files that I did for this printer so that it has the right uh, command to turn off the fan and one of the things that was strange about it is that at the end of a print it was not showing finished which was not normal so now everything is fine and it's working and it, it didn't do the same problem again so I think it's fixed thanks uh, Matthew up so what you see here is a future printer that I will uh, that I am building from scratch so I've bought some some uh, component from uh, AliExpress. So I have a power supply, a heat bed, uh, a display screen that was uh, that I already had. I bought this little all-in-one uh, MKS Ramps 1.4 board. I've already printed some some parts. In fact, I did I redid those those in Fusion 360. Those were redone so that I can adapt move this all. I even began to remodel those parts in Fusion 360. So you see them here and you see them inside of Fusion 360 here. You see I've done the left side and the right side. So we were, me and a friend are building this printer uh, together. We, we have ordered the same parts and I have already have a, an example here of the z-axis so those are, are printed by me and if you look i've changed because i'm using this inside the a extruded aluminum frame instead of those captive nuts i use an angle bracket with the same profile look here so i needed to take out one tab here and move down this old move down a little bit about seven millimeters so that I can use this angle bracket then there is space underneath here so those are remodeled completely from scratch from the one that was printed because I didn't find the CAD files for those and it's so much fun to do that I already tested the heat bed and it's working it's working it's connected right now and I've connected also the z-axis so i can show you here prepare move axis i've connected the motor here to the z-axis axis so z move z-axis say 10 millimeters it works Woo. so it's a beginning we are waiting for some more parts uh, mainly the smooth rod here this is not the right one i'm waiting for those I also have ordered an E3D all-metal hot hand 
which look which looks really really nice tested it it's working fine received my screen for the raspberry pi a touch screen to control the printer so i'm gonna do this probably during the christmas uh, or holidays uh, vacations so that's it guys uh, it was just a short video after all it's christmas day today so i'm gonna keep it short but i, I wanted to get back on the uh, select monoprice mini printer and this i'm really excited about so uh, i'm gonna continue to remodel the, the the parts for it and test it and wait for the parts to uh, for the remaining parts to come in as usual please comment below if you like this video please give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe maybe push that little bell if you want to be notified of new videos and happy holidays again ciao Thank you.